Hi Bobcats, this is Miss Lee, and this lesson is on variability. Make sure that you have notes, you have notebook paper so that you can take notes as we go through the video. Pause it when necessary so you can stay caught up. Okay, variability. What word do you hear when I say the word variability? Very, right? Okay, and what does very mean? If something varies, it means it can what? It can change or it can have different values, right? That's what variability is. It's situations or data where there's a lot of different answer choices. So let's write this down in your notes. Variability refers to how spread out a set of data is. And we've actually already talked about the spread of a data set. We've called it the range. The range is one measure of variability that we're going to learn about. So you can look at how spread out something is by finding the range, by subtracting high minus low. So let's talk about variability in situations. We want to look at the situations and determine if there's a lot of different possible answers, meaning there, there would be variability, or if that there was a small group of answers, which means there's really not any variability. So the first one is, how old are the students at Spring Forest? Hmm, how old are the students at Spring Forest? What, the students go from maybe 10 years old to 13 years old? Is that a large spread or a large range in years? 10, 11, 12, 13, that's not a lot, is it? So this one would have really no variability. And I'm gonna abbreviate variability with VAR. This one would have really no variability. Now, we could change this statement so that there is a lot of variability, and we could say, okay, well, how old are the students that attend Spring Branch Independent School District? Well, now you're talking about kids from pre-kindergarten all the way up to seniors in high school. That's a pretty large spread of ages that are going to school, right? So that would have variability. But in this case, we're just talking about middle school, so there's not a lot of big spread in the ages, so no variability. How about how many pages are in the books in the library? Well, think about that. You can go to the library. There are books that have less than 50 pages, and there are books that have over 1,000 pages. That's a very big difference, right? That's a big spread, a big range. So this one, there definitely is variability. That's a V. I don't know why I'm not writing very good. Okay, this pen's better. How many Skittles are in a bag? If you go to the corner store and you buy five bags of Skittles, and they're the same size bags, and you open each one up and you count them, is there going to be a lot of variability in the number of Skittles in each bag? Or do you think that the number of Skittles in each bag is going to be pretty close? They're going to be pretty close, right? You're not going to have one bag that has 100 Skittles and one bag that has 35 Skittles, are you? All the bags are going to have probably not the exact same number of Skittles, but they're going to be pretty close. So this one would be no variability. Now let's look at variability in the graphs. One of the things you really have to think about when you're trying to determine if there's var variability or not is what the situation is about. Okay, Here, the first graph, this is a dot plot, and we're talking about temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit. Well, if you look at the temperatures, they're only going from 16 degrees to 25 degrees. So that's what, a nine degree spread or a nine degree range? That's not very big when you're talking about temperatures, is it? So this one would definitely be no variability. What about the con uh, concert interest wait time? Okay, this is called a histogram, and we have intervals, time intervals. So we have a, the wait times are in minutes. We have an interval of zero to nine minutes, another interval of 10 to 19 minutes, and it goes all the way to 90 to 99 minutes. So we have a wait time of going from zero minutes to 99 minutes. That's a pretty big spread, right? That's a lot of time to be waiting to go into a concert. 
So this one would have variability. Another dot plot, these are the ages of tennis players in years. So our ages are going from 25 years to 33 years. That's only an eight year spread. This title is kind of, it's not very specific, is it? We don't know if they're talking about ages of pro players, like men's championship tennis players, if we're talking about any tennis player in general. But I would say even if we were talking about pro tennis players, I would think that there would be more of a spread. I know now the pro players are starting younger. They're starting like 17, 18, 19. And they're playing later in life too. So this one I would probably say no variability. Okay, this last graph is what we call a box plot. And we're going to learn about this in our next lesson. And these are fun. But if you look, we're describing science test scores, the percents. So it starts at 60% and it goes all the way to 100%. So when you're talking about test scores, is that a lot of variety? Can you have a lot of different scores from 60 to 100? Yes, you can. So this one does represent variability. And that's all there is to this lesson.